Princess Dixie here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, this is the text-based game. Please keep your eyes open to fully enjoy the experience. Headphones are highly recommended. All right. Don't open your eyes. I saw this and I thought the graphics looked pretty cool, even though it's simple. I like these types of graphics, so. <laughs> it's getting late. My eyelids have finally begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. I'll leave aside the book I've been reading and look outside my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle and against the ways. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even turning gears off in my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. By the way, I want to apologize for the shitty quality of my video on my streams. I use an iPhone 14 when I do my TikToks and my intros, but I do not. I use a webcam off of a laptop for this, so. Too quiet. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only 10 steps long. I know since I have made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absentmindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like ropes of a humongous beast. Logical thinking cries, it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway, but I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. my room there's a bed in my room there's a wardrobe in my room there's picture frames on the wall <laughs> my room is a part of myself it's a world I know, like the back of my hand. Where someone could blindfold me, ask me to find my way around, I do it without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, I have my eyes closed, There's no, makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know everything, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. This is a lot of reading. I usually don't read captions, but there's nothing else, so. I figured I might as well. I should really try to get some sleep. Must be my imagination. But it's getting closer. Getting closer. Getting closer. Getting closer. And it's gone. Right, there's no way someone could be there. Hey. 
Okay. Open your eyes. Uh. The game says not to, so I mean, how about no? Open your eyes. No, thank you. Look at me. I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? Eh. Where are your manners? My parents taught me not to talk to strangers. Is it right to ignore them? Is that how it is? <laughs> yeah. I felt something breathing over my ear. It's cold. Ew, it's cold breath. It's not even hot breath. I will share a secret with you. I've got plenty of secrets. I don't really need any more. I've never seen myself before. I don't know if my face is ugly. I don't know the color of my skin. I don't know if I'm even here. That is why I need you to open your eyes. Damn, dude. That's pretty sad, but I don't so think you I will. Can tell me how I look. But I'm also shy. something caress my ear oh god put my fingers around them uh. and if i do if you scream should i didn't mean to i hear your voice it was a joke Broken. Look. Broken. Yeah, like you've been through some shit. Sorrow. I pray to whoever's listening to give back what's mine. 
pretty much the same metaphorically speaking round like pearls and shiny like jewels so so pretty <sighs> why I keep coughing it's fine we still have time the night is still Silent. People are good at closing their doors. Do you know what a door? Of course you know. You have one right there at the verge of your little world. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. A bad smell. And sometimes, me. Kind of figured that. I can't open doors. Well, that's good to know. I find them tricky. Should I push or pull? Should I turn the knob left or right? Should I try to take it off its hinges? Having manners, that's not a bad but thing. How do I get out? And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? So many options. So many things that could go wrong. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. I stare at it for a long time. Excuses. It sounds like a social anxiety monster. Because that's all they are. Or agoraphobia, maybe. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. Or night terrors and pluralysis. To keep me out. It fills me with the need to go in. So I search for a crevice. Anything that might be open. Anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. I'm careful so as to not be caught by the light. In my eternal search, I pick a place where to rest. I 
of a hand holder, but... <laughs> I'm sure your hands are warm. My hands are usually pretty cold for no... I mean, I don't even know why. So very warm. Because people are always warm. Sometimes. Hey. How do my hands look when my warmth finally meets yours? How will it feel? Answer me. They look tired. Ooh. That may be so. of mine have touched so many things. They are always stretching forwards, reaching out for something. The tip of my fingers dance over the surfaces that I travel, and their sensations reach the core of my brain, be it the softness of the first spring flowers or the roughness of a wall. Rubbish. Caressing, grabbing, clawing. Settle down. No matter the time of day, no matter if I'm awake or asleep, as if they had a mind of their own, even now they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. My salad fingers. They like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. The rustle of fabric against fabric of irresistible. They want more. They want to feel closer. Am I about to get molested? To have it between them and around them more and more and more. Sometimes, however, they can reach as far as they'd like. Mm -hmm. That's when I lend a hand. I take over and strip, stretch, stretch, and they grow. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time, but they grow. Just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then discard it and forgotten. That's why they are tired. Because they never stop seeking. And most likely, never will. Well, it looks like I've got you psychoanalyzed pretty well, don't I, Mr. Demon? Hey, have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important? Yeah, sort of. Until I that it's been long out of your grasp. Have you? These hands are these. My hands, a good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. 
Nope. So you won't look at me? Nope. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. Yeah, I kind of felt that way with the eyes, but not so much with no. the hands. I know we are. I can feel it in my skin. human being that went through some trauma. Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. Not everybody, sweetheart. But I will. Soon. Once you open your eyes. Ah, there it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. I think you're wanting a little bit more than to just be validated. And you inspect every crevice of mine. Mm-hmm. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours. Maybe you were a human being that had issues and then you did something bad? To let me hear what I am. And to maybe even give me a name. But I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Hey, what does my expression look when that fill of uncertainty finally disappears. Answer me. An emotionless state. 
be so. Expressions are difficult. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel, it is something I noticed long ago. I may hurt and I may grow. hurt and I may grow but I do not change that needs to be a bumper sticker not in the way other people do people interact with each other they form connections they experience thrills a person becomes someone different with each passing second turning old and perishing however I don't think I'm capable of any of those things my journey began long ago, longer than any person has ever journeyed, and in my life, I have seen others born, and die, born, and die, a person's existence is so fleeting, and yet, so many things happen to them, so many worthwhile memories, it is something I lack. single page. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather because these memories mean nothing to me. Save for a minuscule number, blending with each other into a mottled gray, lacking the meaning people often give. Perhaps if someone else had left what I had, they would see meaning. They would treasure it. But I cannot, no matter how I try. I can't see any worth of it by extension. And what I am, I want for someone to tell me how I look. Yet, that no one but me would care. So why should I care? But that doesn't mean I have never felt. I feel things. Joy. Sorrow. Fear. I am always feeling. And right now, It's here, in my pulsating skin. I don't think it's your skin that's pulsating. You say my expression is emotionless. That it shows nothing. And if you say so, it must be true. But soon you will see something. Because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Hey, have you ever masked yourself with indifference? Only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath. Yeah, and it backfired when I Have couldn't you? control them. Yeah. This expression is this. My expression. I see. Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. These are my eyes. These are my hands. And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features, and you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. I mean, I'm a psychology major for a reason, but... One born out of honest gratitude. But there's one step left. Of course there is. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way. Understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. No. I see. I understand. No. It's fine. 
since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. Not even once. 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 Did you look at my face? You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep, feigning ignorance and not moving an inch, at times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. You haven't opened your mouth, but you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can, and I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I knew that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. We are the same. You too. Look for what's not there. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. This is getting a little bit too close to home. And you too. I'm not that, actually. I'm really not a liar. shows one thing and feels another. Okay, I'm... Eh. <laughs> yeah, I might feel like I care and show that I don't. Or I might show that I care, but I actually... But don't. you made a mistake. Uh-oh, he's gonna eat me. I know you're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. They aren't mine. Maybe they are you, but I do not care. Not anymore. Open your eyes. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not, and that's all you did. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. You said so, remember? That in this room, you know how everything looks. It was those words that brought me here. Yeah, I know how everything looks without opening my eyes. So you have to. You have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. I just died. Ah, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see?
Would you do beat the shit out of me? Oh no. Oh no. It seems I did it again. You can't see anymore, right? You can't talk anymore, right? You can't think anymore. Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Even though you are a liar, I leave this piece of myself here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that. So, I liked that game. It was a lot darker and a lot more fucked up than I thought it was, but yeah. See you guys next time. Bye!